Hi guys, welcome to Algorithms Made Easy. My name is Krishpu and in this video we are going to see the question maximum performance of a team. You are given two integers n and k and two integer arrays speed and efficiency. Both are of length n. There are n engineers numbered from 1 to n wherein speed of i and efficiency of i represent the speed and efficiency of the ith engineer respectively. We need to choose at most k different engineers out of these n engineers to form a team that has the maximum performance. Now what is the performance? A performance of the team is sum of their engineers speed multiplied by the minimum efficiency among the engineers. We need to return the maximum performance of this team. Now the answer can be a huge number so we need to return the modulus of it. We are given with three examples. Let us go through them one by one. First one, we have six engineers with the speed and efficiency given and we need to make a team with maximum of two engineers. So now to choose these engineers, we'll choose the engineer with the speed of 10, efficiency of four, and with the speed of five and efficiency of seven that will give us the maximum performance which is 60. Now let's increase k by one more that is k equal to 3. Now the maximum performance that we can get is 68. If k is equal to 4 the maximum performance can be 72 and so on. Now let's see how we can solve this question. We'll take the first example where we are given with k equal to 2 and try to solve the question. What are the different approaches that come to your mind? One is we take engineers with the maximum speed and see whether they give the highest performance. Second is we take the engineers with maximum efficiency and see whether that can give us the higher performance. So let's consider both of these approaches and see whether we can get the correct answer or not. With that we know that performance is sum of speed into minimum efficiency amongst the engineers that we are considering. So considering the ones with maximum speed, we have these two engineers. And if we do the same with maximum efficiency, we have engineers with efficiency 9 and 7. Let's calculate the performance in both the cases. For the one wherein we have the sum of speed as 18, Taking their corresponding efficiency, the performance we get is 18 into 2 which is 36. Let's do the same with maximum efficiency. Now, sum of speed for these two engineers is 1 plus 5 and the efficiency is 7 which is the minimum amongst both the engineers. Now the performance becomes 42. But was this the answer? No. The answer was considering the engineer with speed 10 and speed 5, efficiencies 4 and 7. Over here we are getting the performance as 60. So we can eliminate the idea that we can just take one of the things into consideration in order to solve this question. We need to take both the things. But one thing we definitely know is that multiplication plays a major role in increasing or maximizing your answer. So what we are going to do is we are going to try to increase the rate of multiplication for which we are going to start with the person that is having the maximum efficiency. Now since we need to start with the maximum efficiency person, we need to sort this data. So what do we need to do is we need to sort the data based on the efficiency. And since we need to sort based on efficiency, we need to also sort the respective speed. So we'll take a pair of integer or we can take an array of array wherein we'll take efficiency and speed. So this is our original array wherein this is the efficiency, this is the speed of zeroth person, first person, second, third, fourth, fifth index and the sorted array wherein we are sorting it based on the maximum efficiency that is descending efficiency is given over here. So in this problem we are going to use this particular input. So first step is cleared that is we need to sort the data based on the efficiency and we need to group the data as well. 
Now we have this data with us. Now what to do next? In the question there is mentioned at most k. Whenever something like this appears in a question that is at most k or top k or frequent k wherein we need to find the subset of the input that is given to us and we need to take top or bottom that is max or min of it the data structure that is going to come into your problem is a priority queue or a heap so we are going to take a heap now what kind of heap do you take min heap or a max heap since we need to maximize the result we will need to eliminate the smallest elements so for eliminating the smallest element we need to take the min heap if it would have been vice versa we would have taken max heap now we know we need to use the heap what do we need to store in that heap efficiency we have taken care of speed is something we are not taking care of till now what happens when you take two elements and you need to see whether you can consider this element or you need to go with the first two elements that you have considered so you need to eliminate the data based on the speed you will eliminate the one that has the minimum speed and you will take the one that has the higher speed so that means we need to take speed into this heap so this becomes our initial condition we are going to take a min heap wherein we will be storing speed the heap size will be the size k that is given to us and we will take some variables with us that will be handy one is the speed sum that is the sum of the speed that we are looking for the minimum efficiency because the multiplication of these two will give me the performance and the third one is the max performance variable which will hold the result for us now taking into account the first element we have the efficiency as 9 speed as 1 since it is one single element the sum of speed till now becomes 1 and this is 9 now we won't need this into our code but just for your reference on what we are multiplying and how we are doing it we, i am keeping this over here but you will get to know that we are not going to need this i am storing this into my min heap what am i storing the speed which is 1 now the performance becomes 1 into 9 which is 9 maximum performance is the previous performance or this performance so this will give us 9 as well moving ahead we go to the second person now the speed is 5 sum of speed becomes previous plus current speed which is 6 and the efficiency becomes 7 because this is smaller than the previous one the current performance will be 6 into 7 that is 42 and we can say that current performance is higher so we'll update that and we'll go to the next one considering 5 comma 2 the speed is 2 efficiency is 5 but can i add this into the queue or can i add this to the speed sum and calculate the maximum performance no why because the heap has overloaded we have more elements than we need we cannot consider three engineers we only need to consider two engineers so we need to now optimize which one we need to consider so now we will consider the one with the higher speeds and we will remove the one that has the lowest speed which is we will remove one so what we have done is we have added this two which was the current one and we have removed this minimum number which is one minimum efficiency over here is five see this five represents the current iteration that we are on so the performance becomes 35 which is still lower than the one we have got so we will not update it over here and we will move on to the next one again we see that we have three elements over here so we need to remove an element so which one do we remove we remove two so we add 10 remove 2 and the performance becomes 60 which is the highest one till now so we update the max performance now when we come to this 3 do you think that adding this 3 is going to make any sense in this heap because we'll add 3 we'll see which one is the lowest one and we'll remove that part 
So this three will again get removed. So there are two options over here. Whether you keep a check on adding a particular element only if it is greater than the one that you are going to remove or else you can just keep on adding the elements and removing the elements without seeing that it is a lower one or higher one because that is not going to affect this maximum performance score over here. For now let's say we don't add it and we move ahead with 2,8. Now this 2,8 we have 8 added over here and we'll be removing this 5. My current performance will be 18 multiplied by the efficiency which is 2 that gives me 36 which is obviously lesser than the maximum performance that I can get considering other engineers. Since we are at the end of our input, the maximum performance variable will have your answer. So that's the gist behind how to solve this particular question. Now let's go ahead and code it out. So let's take this S and E, we'll be taking a mod variable which is 10 raised to 9 plus 7. Second thing that we are going to do is we are going to make the pair data. So this is going to store the speed and efficiency data and now we need to create it. So we'll take a for loop and we'll add it into this pair array. So zeroth element is going to have the efficiency, first element will be having the speed and now we need to sort this. And the sorting is based on the zeroth element which is efficiency and it is a descending order so we are doing b of 0 minus a of 0. That was the first step that we saw. Second step was to take the priority queue. And we need to take a few variables which would be long and not int because our answer is going to be much higher number. As discussed we are not going to require the minimum efficiency because that is the efficiency of ith engineer that we will be upon. Now we will iterate over our pair array and we will try to fill the priority queue and find the maximum performance as we go along. The first thing that we are going to do is add the speed which is in P of 1 that is the first element in my P. Second thing that we are going to do is we are going to add this into the speed priority queue as well. Now there can be a possibility that the speed priority queue contains more element than K. So we need to pull that. So we check the size of it. We poll it and we also subtract that particular speed from this speed sum. Now the speed sum is balanced, the speed is also balanced. We need to now take care of the maximum performance variable. So that will be equal to maximum of either the previous one or the current one and the current one will be speed sum multiplied by the efficiency which is p of 0. Finally we just return this performance but we are not going to return it as it is because this is a long variable we need int and also we need to do a modulus on it. So what we are going to do is we will be converting it into int and we will also do a mod with this mod and that is it. Let's run it. And this is dot max, which I have forgotten. It's giving a perfect result for this. Let's see. Let's try to run this for all the sample test cases. And it's giving a perfect result. Let's submit this. And it got submitted. Now, what is the time complexity? Since we are doing an arrays.sort, the time complexity over here becomes O of n log n. The time complexity for this loop is O of n. For the priority queue is O of n log k because we are going to have the priority queue of size k. So the overall time complexity becomes O of n log n because of the sorting. 
which is the higher one and the space complexity is for storing this pair which is 2 into n that is O of n. So that's it for this video guys. I hope you liked it and if you did, please do like, share and subscribe to our channel and I'll see you in another one. So till then, keep coding.